Hey family, what's going on? It's your man Abrew in the studio today. We got a poly show with 30 plus and singing with Coleman. She's doing her thing. This is her first show, so let's welcome her to the stage. Cole, how are you feeling today? I'm good. I'm so good. I'm excited to be here um, and just to chit chat with everybody. Good, good, good. So, 30 plus and single. What is 30 plus and single? Uh, it's an unfortunate place to be right now. Um, <laughs> I feel like everybody tries to idolize singleness, but mm-hmm. um, I just feel like we really need to have some real conversation about how we're not supposed to do life alone and how do we navigate that in this space. That's true. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man was uh, not meant to be alone. Neither was a woman. So so 30 plus and single, man, are you... So with the title, because it's catchy, mm-hmm. what are you going... What type of knowledge are you going to share with the 30 plus and single? Are you going to share your experience? You're going to share them how to grow? You're going to share what not to do? These 30 plus and single are just going to be on a spectrum of a little bit of everything. It's definitely going to be a little bit of everything. I'm not like a self-help guru. I'm not here to tell you you're perfect and, you know, gotcha, you art, glitter, and rainbows. But mm-hmm. I am here to share my experience, and hopefully in that, you can share yours with me, and we can try to figure this thing out together. Good, 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 good. So this first topic, what are, what are we talking about? What is this first topic? Man, we are talking about that we don't want what the universe gives us. Ooh. Yeah. I think that we're always presented with opportunities all the time. There's opportunity everywhere, even Mm -hmm. like (laughs) at the local Home Depot. I fumbled the bag, y'all. Like I went to Home Depot. I had on a tank top and some shorts and some sandals. It was, I don't know why I had on sandals, but I look like I might have, should have been there. Okay. And this guy pulls me out of line. I'm in the customer service line waiting. And he's like, hey, I really like your shirt. I had on a Clemson tank top, a purple Clemson tank top. Okay. It was not cute. There was nothing about that tank top that said, stop me and talk to me. Mm-hmm. And I looked back at him and I said, I like your polo. <laughs> 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 and I kept walking. Like, if I'm really trying to not be in this single space, why am I giving up opportunities like that? Mm-hmm. The universe sent somebody my way. Now, I'm not saying it was going to work out, but I denied myself the opportunity to get to know somebody else, even if it was just for five minutes. I can respect that, you know, and I like that because you say, hey, man, I took responsibility. I fumbled the bag, you know what I mean? So I fumbled, fumbled it. So what looking back on that situation, what will Cole has have done differently? Oh, no. Next time I'm like, oh, I like your master's polo. I have family that lives in Augusta. Do you go? And, honey, if he says yes, we're going together. Great. Can't wait. (laughs) I've invited myself. It'll be fun. Um, You know, we're exchanging numbers. We're having real conversation in Home Depot. I might walk around with him Mm -hmm. around Home Depot and see what he's picking up. What are you here for? Yeah. I want to, you know, or are you here to pick up women? Mm -hmm. Because I want to know that, too. So, really just taking the opportunity to, to see the universe work and like I was at Kroger the other day pumping gas okay this man he's like you shouldn't be pumping your gas you're too pretty for that I didn't even swipe my card he swiped his card pumped my gas did I get his number no what am I doing what am I doing do I really do I actually want to not be single because it's giving that I I don't want to not be single but I do want to not be single it's hard being single it really is so, uh, my question to everybody my age or older, mm-hmm. because this isn't just for 30-year-olds, like, what are we doing? What are we putting out that really says, hey, I want this? Are we really sitting down to think about what it is that we want in another person? And when the opportunity comes, are we taking it? Because if I know, I know myself, and I know some of the experiences that my friends have had, and they're not taking it either. Mm-hmm. They're looking at the man like, oh, he tried to buy my gas. <laughs> What's wrong with that? What's wrong with the man stopping you in a, in a beat up Clemson tank top and saying, hey, I like your shirt? There's nothing wrong with that. No. Why not- are we blocking people from being nice to us? I've even heard men my age say, well, I just don't approach women because they shut me down before I can even get out what I want to say. It's a problem. I don't agree with that. Yeah. We've got to do better. 
You know, I like that. I like how you broke that down. Uh, and, and me, as a man, yeah, we hate rejection. And a lot of, a lot of us, a lot of women, man, y'all can be me, man. Y'all can be, y'all can be me. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, so we, you know, we'll look over there at y'all and be like, man, she cute, but boy, she look like she going to embarrass me in here. So I ain't even going over there. I think it's about um, the approach. One, I, I, and this is going to be the next episode, we can't keep being afraid to just try. Mm-hmm. Like anything worth doing is worth doing poorly at first. You're never going to be overly great at anything that you just start. So if you take the time to just reach out and say, hey, I like your shirt or hey, can I buy you a drink? Or hey, can I pump your gas? That's better than doing nothing at all because it shows that you really are being intentional about the type of interaction you're having with people versus, oh, I'm single and don't nobody want to be with me. And da, 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 da. we're not going to have a pity party. We're, we're done with that. I got you on that. So let me, let me ask you this. What do you want if you don't want the universe seeing you? That is the question, isn't it? Um, You know, I have a list. I have a list of things, and I think that some of the things on that list are a little bit uh, superficial. Okay. And should definitely come off. Okay. Uh, Yeah, they definitely should. Um, But I think that the first step is to be willing to try. Even if you don't have a list and you don't know what's on the list, you haven't been exposed to enough to know what you like, don't Mm -hmm. like, will accept, won't accept. If you don't try, you we can't even get there. You have no experience to base this list off of other than, oh, he's fine. Okay, what does that mean? Looks fade. When I'm 80 years old, I'm not going to look like this. That's true. And if my intention is truly to be not single, married, married is the intention, mm-hmm. then looks, I mean, sure, you want to be attracted to that person, but they're not always going to look that way. So I think that that's something that's very superficial to have on your list. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, a lot of people are like, money. He's got to make a bunch of money. Again, I think that's superficial. Is he a hard worker is the better question to me. Does he understand long suffering? Is he able to navigate life in the middle of X, Y, and Z? Because life is going to happen and it's going to happen fast and it it might be a hard situation, but how is he going to treat you in the middle of that? I could see that. I, I could definitely see that now. A lot of women, uh, you know, I see I'm, I'm online and I see a lot of women put these things out there. They want the six, 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 six feet tall, six pack abs and six figure income from a man. Okay. And I'm like, oh, there's future of delusion that the, the men that make six figures is like. But what is six figures now? Like mm-hmm. with inflation, what is one hundred thousand dollars now? Well, it's nothing. nothing. No. It's literally nothing. They might as well be making fifty thousand dollars because by the time the government taxes that hundred thousand, they're making probably what you make. That's true. You're forty thousand dollars because mm-hmm. they got taxed that much. So what really is six figures? Like put that under perspective. That's why I don't really think I mean, sure, mm-hmm. money matters in the sense of can you manage your money? I can see that. Can you work with what you have? But it doesn't matter in the sense of if we're talking about the difference between 60000 and 100000 Yeah. Th- there's not much difference, even a hundred and two hundred, Unless he's making a, a quarter or a half a million dollars, we're not. He, he really still can't do the things that you're thinking he can do. That's true. The lavish vacations, the lavish dinners every week, like that's, that's not realistic for somebody that makes $100,000. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I could definitely see that. I could def- so independent, being an independent woman, you know, we, we, we come out of the 90s era and, they, and then we came into the 2000s era and Beyonce and all these guys to independent and, you know, what I mean, it was ladies. Let me let me ask you your, your opinion. And we also have one half of Can We Talk in the studio today also. Let me ask y'all opinion on this. Was y'all fool with the independent woman thing? I'm, I'm just asking. I don't know. I'm not a woman. Yes. I mean, look at Beyonce. She's not independent. She's independently dependent. She has a husband. She has three kids, I think. Yeah, Yeah, three kids. Uh, The twins and then Blue. Yeah. They have an empire together. That's true. That doesn't make you solely independent. That's true. If it's together. That is so true. So how do you come to me and tell me, 
all the women independent, throw your hands up in the air, and you're not even that yourself. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I would agree with that. And uh, there was a lot. I mean, we kind of started this whole streak, I think, in the 90s. When did Waiting to Excel come out? Like 93, 94, something like that. And um, I think at the moment um, you had a bunch of women who were struggling with being single. And I think we kind of bought into it. Um, and it was a defense mechanism. And you've heard me say this on the Can We Talk Y'all show. Um, it's a defense mechanism. So I think we kind of went with it, but we kind of just kept going and kept going. So it went into the 2000s and it still exists today. This kind of trend, like not being honest with yourself. That's my theory mm -hmm. is that we kind of throw that term out there. We don't need it. We don't need it. It's, it's our, our way to live with the fact that we are still single. And I think that's what you wanted to bring to the point to the stage, 30 plus and single. Let's just be honest. Mm -hmm. Do we want to live life independently? It helps when you have somebody to do life with. That's so. true. For sure. So, you know, I think my challenge for everyone is to pay attention. Mm -hmm. When you're out and about, like you don't have to get on a plane to go and meet somebody. Be open to what's in front of you. Now, I'm not saying everything that's in front of you is good for you, mm -hmm. but be open to it and, and have that discernment to know when this isn't, this is not for me and be willing to move on and be willing to meet multiple people. Mm -hmm. Like just because I met him on Monday at the Kroger does not mean that I have to deny Wednesday at the Aldi. That's true. <laughs> Why no, would I do that? <laughs> especially if you're single. So I'm not with you on that. You know, and we're not talking about going and sleeping with all these men. We're talking, or women, we're mm -hmm. talking about interaction, true interaction, conversation. Get that person on the phone. Talk to them. Make them talk to you. And if they don't want to, if they don't want to communicate, mm -hmm. drop them. Because at the end of the day, I mean, y'all are married. Y'all mm -hmm. know. Yeah. No relationship can survive without communication. Yeah. So it must be built that way. It has to start that way. So if he or she is not trying to communicate with you, drop him. That's true. And go talk to Wednesday. I, I can and if that. Wednesday acting up, drop him too. <laughs> go talk to Friday. <laughs> and if Friday acting up, we'll try again. And just one question to you, Cole. So what in those two situations, what stopped you from taking advantage of the moment? Y'all oblivious. Just like country. <laughs> you know, I, I can see that country and simple. Yeah. Oh, he liked my shirt, mm -hmm. girl. He did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't what he was going for, Cole. No, not so. at all. That's not what he wanted. And he had the biggest, cutest smile on his face oh, when he man. said it. Oh, I messed up, but I'm gonna do better. And that's 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 what it boils down to. We've got to be. Like Felicia said, we've got to be honest with ourselves and recognize our own patterns of mm -hmm. self-destruction or <laughs> obliviousness, whatever you may want to call it. But it starts there. So put the same tank tock on with the, I mean, the Clemson, uh, with the Jesus sandals, you yep. said. Show us again and go back the whole deep on that <laughs> Wednesday go back to that same at, one. at 3 o'clock at the same time. And see if you run back. Oh, my God. It was the middle of the day, too. And I was like, yeah. my mom was like, you are dumb. It's okay, because I think sometimes, you know, you want it, and you not you don't really know when it's going to come, and so you're unexpected in the moment, but I think the key is to be present in each moment, and I think that even if if just a, 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 like a female, just, girl, I really like your shoes, you know what I mean? You know, be present in that moment. That's just a friend or whatever that's complimenting you. Girl, yes, I love your braids or, you know, killing it or whatever. But being present and having just human interaction. And it's it's really difficult for me to do. Let me just confess because I'm a little bit of an introvert and I don't see people. When I go out, I got it. I'm like tunnel vision. I'm headed right for this uh, item in the store and I'm going to check out and I'm leaving. But be present in the moment and be aware of your surroundings and you know, you might see somebody like we've gone to the grocery store and seen famous people before mm -hmm. and elected not even to say anything. But, you know, my husband is pretty much a little bit better at doing that. Like, hey, that's so and so. Let me, you know, say hello to that person and that kind of thing. But, yeah, I think it's just in general, um, you know, everybody's sort of in their own little bubble and we should be more uh, open to interactions with the people around us. That's a good point. So, ladies, 
gentlemen, take your AirPods out when you go in the store or get yeah. out of the car. Mm-hmm. Take them out. Look around. Pay attention to what's around you. Because if we keep doing the self-isolation thing, even in public, we're not going to get anything that the universe has for us. Even, yeah. like, job opportunities, guys. Right. You know how many people I've met just chit-chatting? Because I am a little country, and I am a little mm-hmm. a little on the slower side. So I was just like, hey, what are you doing? And they're like, oh, I love your energy. And I'm like, okay. And they're yeah. like, you should apply for this job. You would be great. <laughs> okay. Networking. Yeah. I mean, you never, you never, ever, ever, ever know. So take those AirPods out. Look around. Be present. If somebody compliments you, say thank you. Mm-hmm. Keep moving. So this is one last question, you know, um, is it okay for a woman to approach a man these days? <laughs> and the, the reason I say that because a lot of men, we need to know it's okay for me to talk to you or it's, if we get close, it's okay for me to touch you. You know, and that's some men just aggressive. They're going to grab you. Now they're like my man, the Home Depot, you know what I mean? But is it okay for a woman to walk up to a man and say, hey, how you do? I like your shirt. Yes. Yes. Like, uh, the country little simple girl in me is like, no. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Because, again, if the universe has put this person in front of you, why would you, why would you close that door without even trying to open it? So, yeah, if you see somebody and you want to give them a compliment, give them a compliment because good people don't stop being good people at the end of the day. I like You're that. never going to be, you know, looked at as crazy for being nice ever. Mm-hmm. So be nice. Be mm-hmm. kind. Everybody could use a smile. A smile is not going to kill you. Mm-hmm. A smile is inviting. It is it, so inviting. Yeah, it's, it's inviting and, and it. It's just like you you walking in the in the, in the backyard with an aggressive dog. If his ears and if his ears and his tail is down, you are okay to walk in. If his ears perked up and his tail, and he's showing you them choppers. You be like, I ain't walking in. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> so I can see that. So yeah, good people don't stop being good people. Be good people. Be fun to be around. And I I I have challenged myself to when I meet people to just treat them like I know them. Okay. Because, you know, it kind of kills some of that awkwardness of, uh, is this person approachable? Like, what's the conversation going to be like? You know, all the things that go through your head when you're trying to say hey to somebody you don't know. But if you just are treating them like an old friend, it's way more warm. It's way more inviting. And you're probably going to get a lot more out of that conversation, even if it's nothing at all. But it will at least be a pleasant conversation. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. So approach these men. Say I, hey to them. I like that. Touch them on the shoulder. Like <laughs> because if because we like to be like, man, she liked me, so I'm gonna go and talk to her and and, and be relaxed. Not not make it relax, you know what I mean? So um I, I think hey, you heard the first man. You heard from Cole. She said, Hey, women I mean women will talk to you guys, you know what I mean? But y'all have to be inviting too. That's right. That's yeah. right. Well sometimes I Again, I don't. I'm not paying attention, so I just yeah, tunnel vision. Yeah, so I just be like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? And then I might touch them on the elbow because apparently I read this in a book. Mm. Apparently, when you touch people, sometimes it lets their guard down a little bit, like you know, like a friend, like mm-hmm. hey, how you doing? Just a little tap. Mm-hmm. Hey, how you doing? Just reach out or um, you know. Treat them like your friend, and then, then they're happy. They're okay. They they kind of relax a little bit. Um, but always check the finger, ladies, before Absolutely. you start talking to this Absolutely. man. Um, look for a tan line, even if there is no band on the finger. Check the finger. That don't matter no more. <laughs> Half of the guys don't even wear the rings anymore. That's what I'm saying. Look for a tan line. Yeah. But I'm saying even the tan, the tan line might not even be there because they don't even wear the, the ring lines. You know what I mm-hmm. mean? Get his name, get on social media, stalk him. Don't just take anybody at their word anymore because it's just a different day and age, unfortunately. And that really does play into a lot of the singleness struggles that we have because people do lie happily. And it could be that the gentleman liked your the fact that it was a Clemson shirt, you know, so that could have been another conversational piece. Perfect. Oh, you like Clemson. Do you watch football mm-hmm. or, or do you watch basketball? Uh-huh. Let's go to a game. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an alumni. Uh-huh. Did you graduate from 
Crimson too, or do you just like them? Mm-hmm. There you go. Okay. Well, hey, I got on that. So, Cole, you got any final um, advice for the ladies, for the men? You, you know, what I mean, this is your polish show, so we want to make sure that you 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 let them know. Don't don't fumble the bag. Don't fumble the bag, guys. Be open. Pay attention. Take your AirPods out. Just stop and enjoy every moment that you have, especially on this earth, because it is life is so short and it is so mm-hmm. fleeting. And when you're given the opportunity, take it. Take it every single time. Um, so, yeah, I challenge everybody to pay attention. That's it. That's it. So, hey, guys, y'all heard it first from 30 plus single with Cole. And uh, with that said, until next time, y'all be good. Be easy. Talk to you soon.